Welcome back, Shackers, to the Shack News E3 2017 booth in the shadows of the Nintendo booth. We are here with Adam Bati from Konami. He's in charge of brand, product, all sorts of the world, yeah. the world, <laughs> world domination via soccer. That's what I'm here to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So we're here to talk about world domination via soccer. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people in America forget that soccer is super popular. Yeah. It's actually as popular as electronic music is internationally. People like to, people like to think that's not popular either in America. You know? We're is that your fight? Just yeah. so we know, I'm about soccer. You're about electronic music. Okay. Football. Okay. <laughs> right. I think there's an overlap. There. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just saying. I've never I, thought about if it. If like we that put before. up a map okay. and we were like this country and this with soccer and electronic music, there'd be a decent overlap. Okay. I'm just saying. Adam. <laughs> I'm just saying. Great. So we're here to talk about pro evolution soccer. Yeah. 2018 yes the future. it's coming yeah. we're going into the future with soccer football whatever you want to call it yeah i think over here we're going to call it soccer okay in America. i'll accept that for the next uh, 20 minutes so i hear an <laughs> accent where do you, where are you from? from we're from the uk we have a a, a team that works on the brand uh, over in windsor it's really nice and a lot of the legwork the 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 magical source the 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 majority of the work goes on in Tokyo. Okay. And that's where all the dev team is. So we've got a few offices around the world, but that's where Pez is made. So there's a bit of a virtual office going on between the UK and Japan? Absolutely, yeah, for sure. So we've got quite a big team over in Europe as well, you know, mm -hmm. Germany, Spain, Italy. Sure. So combined, it's, it, it's a very big team. But what we try and work on is, is to help the, the, the dev team over in Japan work with all the biggest, you know, soccer teams you know because obviously a lot of them are in europe yeah uh, we, we're partners with two of them which are playing right now uh, which is Borussia dortmund and liverpool uh, we're a premium part of, uh, partner of fc barcelona and it's allowed us the, these uh, partnerships have, have allowed us to really make the game look fantastic so here we're actually playing in the zigna laduna park which is the dortmund home stadium mm -hmm. and we actually went over there to germany took our capturing units, <laughs> scanned the whole stadium, but not even that, we scanned the pitch outside, yeah. the tunnel, the locker rooms, everything. So when you play Pez, you'll see it looking fantastic. I was gonna say the pitch definitely looks like they're... they're yeah, they're, uh, it's, been, it's been one of the easiest stories for me to tell people this year when it comes to Pez, because over the past three years, we've had a game which has been quite similar. It looks and plays. You can see improvement. Sports games always do that, but usually it's all marketing terms, and it's difficult to really cut through that and see a clear difference. Mm -hmm. When you compare this to last year, it's such a different world, it's such a different game, that actually the game is doing a great job at the show this year. Everyone's seen it. They've seen the animations. Great save by the goalkeepers. The lighting looks real. And, you know, all these kind of things really help us talk about the game this year and also sorry i'm talking a lot i'm not sure if you guys know because you mentioned the music you mentioned soccer being popular tell you who is popular globally usain bolt yeah and we oh, yeah you, that was a big get just a couple of days ago absolutely right? announced, we announced yeah. usain bolt as a pre-order item for pez 2018 the sprinter the sorry? sprinter right that's right yeah, yeah. Wait, so wait <laughs> what what team is he on because well, he's a track athlete. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. First he's of all, he's a lovable track athlete. But what team are you putting him on? Actually, I'm not sure if you know, but we got this mode called My Club, which is yes. really about building your favorite team, sure. having special agents. Oh, nearly a goal. Um, where we, where we, what we've done is we've put Usain Bolt in there. But just a bit of background. I'm not sure if you guys know, but in a couple of weeks, Usain is actually um, hanging up his running boots and putting hopefully on some soccer cleats because he's actually rumored to be wanting to start quite a late soccer career. I, I read wow. an interview with him. He wants to play. Absolutely. Yeah. There's some rumors going around right now that he's been linked with uh, a French second division team. We literally had no plans to put him in the game. It's not as if this was our big announcement like, right. yo guys, lit literally like a few four months, like about four months ago, we saw his people at a football match, soccer match, sorry, and we were watching the game and he goes to me, uh, oh, what do you do? Work on pro. What do you do? I represent Bolt. We should put him in the game. Yeah, no, we should. Two weeks later, we're in Jamaica doing a full 3D <laughs> face scan, you know, doing some trailer shootings. He's a huge fan of the sport. He oh, yeah. really, he plays pairs. He wanted to be in the He's game. He's a fan of all athletics. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he celebrates every athlete because he, I think, excellent athletes just admire other absolutely. athletes. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he's just shown to 
be GOAT in his sport. Absolutely. Now, the idea of him coming into even any level of pro soccer is fascinating. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I, I hope in terms of real life, I really hope it does launch because then yeah, it'll really sure. add a lot to the game. It'll yeah. make a lot more sense to the people who don't quite see the link. You saw a goal there. Oh. <laughs> So one of the guys is smiling over there, one of them isn't, so I think I know who scored. <laughs> I, I think I know who scored too. <laughs> so you see like the animation now, the way the players react, the first touch, oh, deflection. That was from far Should out go. there. Yeah, exactly. The guy got in the way. The presentation is, is always so spectacular in each new version of Pez. Uh, yeah. It, it gets more and more like a, like a real authentic match every year. We've really tried to sort of match that broadcast feel. When you watch sports, yeah. no matter what sport it is, you know how a, a TV broadcast you know, shows it when you see stats uh, coming up, replays, slow down of key plays, sure. showing those key plays again after the fact, maybe not necessarily straight away. They're the kind of things that we're trying to bring to Pez as well. Because a lot of people say to us is that on the pitch, the gameplay has always been the best, but it's the visual, the animation, bringing everything. So you're making you feel like you're playing the game great save. And, and that's what's really important for us here as well. So you'll see that in, in PES 2018. It's been challenging because I want to watch the game and I want to talk to you. <laughs> I, I've got the best seat in the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I wanted to talk about gameplay for a second. Please. Uh, I think when it, comes to, when it comes to football, soccer, on, on a you. console or anything, uh, you have to balance fun, which Ooh. is scoring, good defense, great plays, yeah. highlights, with realism. Yeah. Like you talk about that balance in gameplay. Yeah. Mechanic. I think for us and I think for the brand itself, it's actually been known for the more hardcore style. Or just Mr. Gold. Just distract me with your questions. He's too good. Yeah. This guy's OP. <laughs> he's smiling again. You gotta nerf uh, this guy. He scored the equal oh he's happy he's equalizer. Yeah, I mean oh. <laughs> okay, so, off the corner too. It's absolutely crazy. So actually our the way that Pez actually got big was because of the the community is the, the word of mouth. Uh -huh. So for us, it's actually not a challenge because it's, it's in our DNA. I think what's really important for everyone to remember is we're the challenger. When it comes to this kind of genre yeah. in soccer, you've got a huge uh, competitor. And, and, and for us, is we, we're here, we, we celebrated our 20 year anniversary a few years ago. We're still here, we, we, you know, we're signing partnerships, we're getting you saying in the game. So we're doing really well for ourselves, but we've got that freedom. Yeah. Because we have that hardcore community, we can focus on making the game real for them, and they really appreciate that. And that's why we're still here. I think if we went a different direction, went for the masses, suddenly we're in an area which we've never really been expertise of. We must, I think, for PES to survive and yeah. to continue to thrive, it needs to focus on being simulation. So you might want to drop it down a few levels in difficulty. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> well, no, you know, oh, I no. want to do that too. Because you know you have these long running sports franchises. And after a while, I think some of them kind of get entrenched in developing for their fan base, which yeah. makes it hard for new players to break in. Absolutely. They're interested, but they don't know how to where to break in. Yeah, and I think for us actually, I think I think esports is is really interesting because sometimes people see esports as something which is really you know like difficult to get into. You got to be the best of the best, but actually, it's really important for us to to make sure that. We, we are providing something for everybody. So we brought in loads of new modes. There's this new one this year called, called 3v3. And it's about this one thing. It's about, I can convince you maybe to, to actually play pe Pez, but then if your friends are playing something else, you wanna play with your friends, right? That's how online games work. So with the 3v3, we brought that not only into the game, but also to Pez League. So you and your friends can compete with other people oh, awesome. together. So you keep your friends together, you create your own team name, your own share, everything you go online and compete with the best. And just a, a month ago now, we gave away $200,000 at the Champions League final to the Pez League uh, winner. We had this season <laughs> wow. long. The guy was 17 from Brazil, changed wow. his life. I oh, was wow. a teenager at the worst time in history yeah. to be an <laughs> esports right. player. Yeah, absolutely it's, right. It's, it's, it's depressing to it's hear good. these numbers. Second place got $100,000. I peaked as an esports player. It's like a Quake player, probably like 17. Yeah, we're, we're old now. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're beyond ancient. retirement. We're we need ancient. a senior tour. Do you know what? You, absolutely, you know what? We need a <laughs> Give us 20 grand. We need Just some chip kind off of. 20 grand from the youngsters pool. <laughs> We're some kind of esports <laughs> legends league or something. Right? That's like, right. yeah. 30 and up. Yeah, yeah, only. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I think that's one of those things which allows people to get into the 3v3, the groups. That that kind of thing, I think, is going to really help us. No, I, I think 
that's, I think, what you're saying is being the key differentiator, focusing on your community because, like you said, you're 20 years now into this into this franchise. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. No. You know, this is here to stay. And yeah. I, what I what I would say is that I don't want to directly address your competitor, but you have a competitor. It's big. Feel free. I'm just yeah. Sometimes they change things in their game for the sake of changing them. Yeah. That's the hard balance to strike. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you do you keep it the same? Do you change and then you alienate yeah. some players? A UI, for instance, yeah. they'll, they'll, they may change a gameplay mechanic in one year, and it makes the game almost unplayable. Yeah. I feel like those are the years where I come to Pez and I'm like, I'm still having fun over here at Pez. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, free kick! Oh, guys! That was really cool, sorry. No, wow. Right. You made a really good point, and I was going to give you something really good back, but that's even better. I, maybe it was just... That was phenomenal. Sports, so, the, actually, the it allows me to add something, actually, to this, is that... You mentioned the little changes. We actually redid our set pieces, which is a great time to talk about it because we had this guideline in the game. Oof, we had this guideline in the game that and we filthy. took it out because our fans wanted us to take away the guideline to make it more difficult. Obviously, he's shown it that, that you can, uh, you know, master it yeah. and you can use the player's skill yeah. as well as your own skill to be able to score some fantastic free kick goals like that. And I think it is really important to to make key changes but don't change your DNA, don't yeah. change of what you're trying to achieve with the game. I think for Pez, it will always be realism, it will all be player representation. That sometimes doesn't fall in line with a lot of things that you right. want to do, especially when you're playing online, the last thing that you want to do is make teams too imbalanced and players too imbalanced. But what we have brought into combat that this year with online is a new stat balancing option. So it means that, I mean, for me personally, if I don't support a team that's very good, I don't want to play the best of the best. If I get beat, my first excuse is, yeah, but you're playing as Barcelona. That's why, <laughs> right, that's why right, you right. beat me. Right. But now you've got an option to make all the stats the same no matter who you choose. Right. So then it's all about your skill. It's all about your level play. Well, and that is really, really cool as well, I think. And to one of your earlier points, you know, by focusing on your community, your community, your players become brand ambassadors they can kind of be the gateway to get their friends in new players in and they're introduce gonna them streaming, to they're going to be streaming they're going to be capturing players. right yeah, right exactly yeah. and that's the future i think for us as well i mean one, one thing that we're doing straight after e3 is actually we're actually touring around the world with the game going to see our fans going to see press letting people capture the build i mean you mentioned you know getting people streaming and things like that yeah. and we are embracing that that style of play for us when it comes to pairs that's what's going to make it big you yeah. know and i think it's really being content and happy with where we are. We've got such great support. We've got, and I'm being serious here, it sounds like I'm kissing, <clears throat> but the Tokyo dev team sacrificed so much as yeah. well. For me, it's fantastic to see them working hard, working through weekends, not seeing their family. It's that crazy. And working to make sure that the fans get what they want. And it inspires everybody around us, it inspires us to actually work really hard and, and really make sure that we make the best game for the fans as well. All that coming together is like a lot of love. I'm sorry, guys, I'm, I'm going to start holding you in a second, but it's just so much love yeah. around when you talk about pairs and when you talk to their fans as well. They're, they're really passionate and you can see it. Well, I think uh, it's something Steve Jobs said about making a product. If, you, if you're going to do something, do something you love because you're going to do a great job at it. Yeah, right. absolutely. If you like it, others will like it. Yeah. You know? Make something for yourself. You know, yeah. like something that you love. And I Absolutely. Think, I think we, see, I think your team's got that in their yeah. DNA as I'll well. I'll give you an example, right? This year, I know it sounds silly to say, but our PC version wasn't on the level of PS4 and Xbox One for a few years now. It was a kind of hybrid in between PS3, 360. Well, thank you for PS4. even supporting P PC. Yeah, a lot oh, of PC sure, gamers welcome. get left you know? on the cold <laughs> for sports games. Yeah, yeah so. absolutely. No, you know what it is though as well. We we had a lot of conversation with Valve about it as well, and they uh -huh. supported us with Nvidia, mm -hmm. who are here at the show with us. We, we're using their GeForce tech, yeah. really showing Pez off super super well. Yeah. So. For us, it actually, that was came from the community because, uh -huh. as you guys might know, with sports games, you know, console is your platform, it's the majority of your audience, but we really sure. wanted to give the fans something. And that was a huge announcement that we made here at the show. Yeah. And the second thing that we announced here is, with Pez, people complain about the online quality. We have fans from all over the world. We're huge in South America, we're huge in Asia. We've got yeah. parts of Europe where we're, where we're leading and you have to then make sure that everybody can play together consistently and the fans do complain that it's not consistent for them. So what we're doing this year is for 11 days at the end of July, we're actually running an open beta. Oh, wow. So for PS4, Xbox One, we're, we're letting them demo 3v3 as well, our new mode. 
cool. or they can play 1v1. But again, that's born from us trying to speak to the fans, letting them know, listen, we heard you. We need to improve online. We're going to let you guys play online. We're going to capture the data from the server about how you guys are playing. We're going to send out surveys as well. Sure. And we promise you, if we find any issues, hopefully it goes perfectly fine, but obviously it is online. Um, but if it doesn't, we're going to definitely do a day one patch to fix everything. No, I, I know the challenge of netcodes and online multiplayer. And, you know, Rocket League's had yeah. so many revisions where people will be furious after one patch. And then yeah. the next day they release another patch. So it's a, it's a huge challenge when you have 11 players on the field and a ball going around. And, and it's, then such, two it's people, a fast-paced sport. And like yeah. you said, such an international sport like what you have. You yeah. might have a guy in Argentina playing a guy in Japan. <laughs> That's, you know, that's a long series of tubes connecting those two systems. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So exactly. I think that's a, that's a huge challenge. I'm glad you guys are doing a beta period for that. Yeah, and I think obviously we're bringing in this this new 3v3, uh, 2v2, all these uh, new modes. And again, it's like bringing more people together online. And unfortunately, I can say it right now because it's before, but if online doesn't work, these modes aren't going to be as successful as they should be. You know, yeah. bringing people together is what it's about. And obviously, again, using it in Pez League, using it in esports as well, it's really sure. important for us to, to make sure that if we're going to have that competitive environment as well as the more casual, we need to make sure that online is working strongly. For sure. Awesome. You, you mentioned that this is kind of a, you know, a labor of love for the team. Yes. Uh, what is your favorite aspect of the game? What what do you kind of zero in on? Do you know, your it's, a, it, it's a bunch of things, to be honest with you. It's a really good question. It's a hard one to answer. I think we just missed a goal again. What, what are you doing? I've missed every goal. You're distracting me. <laughs> this frustrating you need a mirror on this side so uh, yeah. you can see it. I, yeah, I need to set up a mirror over here. I just heard a yes from, 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 from afar. But I think I think one of the one of the one of the main things is as you as you're watching this replay, look, look at the crowds. This is the main thing. For me here at the show, I'm talking to people about Pez looks better, Pez moves better. And I really don't have to tell people that because they can see it. Yeah. Because they can see how the how the players are moving. Oh, yeah. save oh, rebound, man. cheap goal. Yeah, I definitely I'm agree. Happy. Like the, uh, it's a realistic movement of the player models. Yeah. When you're turning in soccer, you don't turn on a dime. Yeah. You kind of do a little loop. Yeah. And uh, that's when you see. You can sort of see you, that. You can definitely see it in the player models. And, and yeah. I think for me, personally speaking, okay, I'm 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 really hardcore soccer player. I there's this new feature that we've brought into the game, which is called auto protect. Sorry. It's actually called physical representation. I call it auto protect, personally speaking, because what it is, is your player is always aware and intelligent enough to know where he's going to have the opposition come from. So say if I'm dribbling and a guy's coming, what he'll do is he'll leave the ball, won't touch it. He'll automatically shift his body so he's moving alongside it to shield it. And it happens all over. Guys from the front, if you flip the left stick back, he'll jump over and make sure that he's in between the player and the ball. Oh wow. What this allows you to do is control possession. Yeah. It requires skill. It sounds nice and easy, but it requires really good skill. But it allows you to dictate the pace of the game. You mentioned, sure. you know, the speed of the game sometimes is too slow, it's too possession realistic. Game. Position yeah, absolutely. But suddenly now you can slow the game down. You're winning a goal to nil. You can take the pressure off your team give it to a strong player maybe and I think for me personally speaking because I like to dribble quite a lot in my in my sports games um, I really like the idea of being able to dictate exactly how I do it when I do it as well so I think that's going to be a really interesting thing so what's who's your favorite team I support AC Milan Italian okay. team so that's why I'm really happy about the stat balancing <laughs> because <laughs> when I go online and I get all the big teams I'm just like Okay, here we go again. So yeah. I'm really happy about that, and I think that's gonna. I think for a lot of people, they're like maybe their home team isn't isn't the best team. Not not everybody lives in Barcelona, so you know you do really want to be able to to play as a team. What a ball! Is there oh. ML, is there MLS support? We haven't been able to get that yet this season. That's okay. Yeah, but we but we got the biggest players from around the world there as yeah. well. I mean, it's 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 we're doing actually a lot in. If you're on about the, the U.S. market. We've got a partnership with with some. Uh, um, I'm saying too much already, but we've got a partnership to announce. Uh, no, <laughs> not too soon after after E3 finishes, which is all about activity going on in the US. Cool. And we're going to have more esports events. Absolutely, yeah. We've actually just finished uh, the season when we gave away that kid more, more money. 
than I'll ever have. Um, <laughs> and uh, and from that, we're going to start announcing the new season of esports towards August. The new season for that as well. Uh, the game is launching um, September 12th here in the US, a few days later uh, globally. Um, so that will lead up to the launch of the game as well. So PS4, Xbox, Xbox One, One, PC Steam, Steam, PS3 and Xbox 360. PS3, Xbox 360, 